All right, in today's tutorial, we're gonna be creating this particular motion graphics, which is generally called the starburst effect. It can be used for revealing logos such as this example, or it could be used in any other sort of text reveal or whatever you may please. So let's get right into it. Start off by deleting the default cube. Also note that we have our screencast keys switched on over here, so you can hopefully see everything that's being done. Shift A to add in a circle, R, Y, 90, and then hit tab to go into your edit mode or go to edit mode by selecting this and hit F to fill. Now this is what's going to be our main effect and we're gonna procedurally create the textures that'll act as the starburst effect. Let's just scale this up as well. So now let's start creating the texture. Go into rendered view by clicking that, and we just created a new window by placing the cursor at the corner till it becomes a plus, clicking and dragging. So now go to our materials and click new. Let's change the material to starburst. That's just to help later on, and change this to the shader editor window. Hit N to remove that, and now let's zoom in and start working on this. So the first thing that we need to do is create those lines. So we can do that by adding in a gradient texture, changing the mode from linear to radial. If we hit control shift click this with the node wrangler enabled, we can actually see what this is doing. So radial is not doing anything. That's probably because we don't have the texture coordinates correct. So let's control T with this selected to get the texture coordinate and mapping nodes. Now change from generated to object. So now we can see how the radial gradient has been generated, but now we want many of these. So in order to do that, let's add in a math node and switch the type from add to modulo. So now we can just reduce this value and we'll get more and more of these sections so let's switch it all the way to maybe 0 0.02 that looks like the right number so now what we can do is clearly this is still a gradient but we want them to be individual lines so we can do that by adding another math node and switching this to greater than and then placing that right in here now let's just reduce the threshold Let's see, since this is 0 0.02, let's go. There you go. So that'll give us exactly half dark and half light. And in most of these situations, we don't use exactly half. Generally, the light areas are lesser, the areas that will appear. So we'll use this black to become a mask and it'll become transparent. So the area that we want it to appear should be lesser than this. So let's go and make it maybe 0, 0.9 oh sorry since we're using greater than and not less than maybe 1.5 and there you go so that makes it lesser areas of white so now that we have this set up the next thing that we could do is create our gradient that's going to actually cause this to appear and disappear so we're going to do that by using a wave texture so add in a wave texture zoom in and control shift click to now see it so this is clearly not what we initially want let's start off by changing this from bands to rings and then also change this to spherical now again this is not starting from where we want it to so what we can do is add in a mapping node and connect the vector to the vector and then take this texture coordinate and take the same object and place it into the vector there we go now all we need to do is just decrease this scale to right about there. So now we have the appearance and if we change the offset, we can see how it's going to change. So this is not exactly what we want. So let's shift A, a color ramp so that we get more control, change the value from linear to ease, and then just decrease the black a bit. Reduce the scale as well to maybe 0 0.2. And there we go. So now when we change the phase offset, 
you see there's going to be we want a section where everything is seen and we want a section where nothing is seen so our scale has to be reduced even smaller and now let's take a look everything is seen and there's a section where nothing is seen okay the section where nothing is seen isn't quite there yet so let's just drag this in and there we go now we have a section where nothing is seen and we have sections where everything is seen so essentially just by animating or keyframing this phase offset we will get the starburst effect so that works so now we have to combine these two so how we can combine these two is shift a math as usual and change it to multiplication because we want both this effect and that effect to come out so let's put those in and now we can actually take a look at the starburst appearing and disappearing now i don't want this edge to be this sharp so i want another gradient texture uh, copy the mapping as well make sure that it is connected to the object vector put this into the gradient and connect this to a color ramp and then add in yet another multiply node so just shift d place this in here and take this color place it into that but now let's just change this from radial to spherical and there we have it so let's probably bring this back a bit and we can bring this in as well and that will give it a nice smooth fall off at this edge no matter what phase we're at in the starburst effect so there we go so now if at all we require anything else we'll see later let's change this and place this into our alpha socket and then control shift click this and now we can take a look at what it looks like so right now you see it becomes sharp again because our blend mode and it's also not transparent because we have to make our blend mode change it from opaque to alpha blend you can also change the shadow mode to none so now let's just take a look at what it looks like if we just switch everything off go to the world and change the color to black let's take a look at this of course right now the only reason we're seeing these edges is because of this light we don't want it so let's delete the light let's select the circle again and change the emission color to some color let's go ahead with our brand colors and make the emission strength five maybe ten as well come here switch on bloom as usual clamp it down at four and now let's take a look at what this looks like so that is essentially the starburst that's happening so now let's go ahead and figure out what we could make appear using this starburst so let's switch these back on shift a add in some text all right let's just rotate on the z-axis by 90 rotate on the y-axis by 90 go to the text properties and right here change it to center and center so that it gets aligned to the center now we can always change the font i'm not going to go into that depth right now let's just call this um life maybe and now let's give this a material so let's go to the materials let's actually give it the same starburst material that we did create copy it and then get rid of all of this because we don't want that we only want this middle line don't forget to keep saving from time to time now delete that as well and there we have it now we just have the material for this by changing the face offset we can actually create the light to appear or disappear we're going to call this as the life material and let's change the color of life maybe to a nice color that goes well with that blue come back here switch these off and there you go or let's make it blue itself 
So now we can change this offset and make it appear or disappear. Now let's go ahead and add the keyframes to actually get the animation to work out. Here we have the starburst selected. Let's go ahead to the face offset of the wave texture, the one that we have right in the middle over here. Let's go to a section where absolutely nothing is seen. So I think this works and just hit I with the mouse on top of it to add in a keyframe. So let's go to about frame 30. Let's say it goes one second, decrease the phase offset. Oops. Right until there and hit I. So now let's just take a look at it and it goes Awesome. Let's change the frame rate to 30 frames per second. Now let's just take a look at it. Of course, change the playback to frame dropping. And, and there we go. Now, my preference is to keep this particular outline. It just gives some life to whatever text you have as well. But if you want, you can always change the phase offset such that it's completely gone. Now let's look at act the actual text and see that's offset. So let's say it has to start off by not being there at all. So let's go to maybe frame two, change the phase offset till absolutely nothing is seen. Okay. Hit I and then go to maybe frame 20 at most and just decrease the phase offset till the entire light is seen and hit I. So now, if you watch the animation, there you go. It starts off with almost nothing. So clearly we are still seeing a little bit of it. So I should change the phase offset a little bit more and now hit I. And then life comes in and is visible right there. So maybe let's change the color of life so that it's more prominent. Maybe a darker blue. There you go. Still completely outshadowed, but that's all right. So that's the entire point of this animation. So there you go. Now we just have to put in the camera. So Let's select the camera. Let's switch on overlays. Alt G to get rid of its location. Alt R to get rid of its rotation. Then let's see, R Y 90, R X 90, and then G X, just move it back, back, back. Hit O to go into camera view, and then continue G X, continue to move it back till we get it right there. We can change this to whatever size we want. This is the size that I'm going to go with and change the end frame to maybe 60. Let it just be a two second animation. Let's take a look at what it looks like. Okay, great. We can just select everything and then just grab it and move everything by maybe 12 seconds so that it starts off dark for a little while and then it just appears. Okay, of course, life did not get selected for some reason. Let's go ahead, select this, and then just G10. Oh, it was, we moved it by two, so G12. And now let's take a look at everything. Starts off dark, appears, and stays for a second. That's about it. That is how you can get this effect. You can change the background a bit, make it however you feel like. I prefer this, I think it looks nice. Let's just make it larger, great. So now we have to select the output directory, change the format to FFmpeg video. Make sure that you change the encoding to MPEG4, and of course the quality to perceptually lost seats. And once you do that, all you have to do is hit render, render the animation. Hopefully you learned something 
from this tutorial and you could do a lot more variations such as adding noise to this and you can get any sort of motion graphic using this type of technique. Most of the times people use physical objects to create these starburst effects and that takes a lot more effort and computational power than this particular procedural modeling and being procedural with these textures you can just change the values and tweak it to exactly what you like whenever you feel like rather than having the physical objects and using hook modifiers and scaling and things like that so definitely give this a try use a little bit of thoughts to add in other things tweak it to your liking and please let us know if you want to know anything else or learn anything else and till then Take care and stay creative.